look at the shapes below. How do I know which one is a cube? In this lesson, you will learn how to identify cubes by finding solid shapes with six square faces. Let's review. We learned about a special quadrilateral called a rectangle. We know that this shape is a quadrilateral because it has four sides. Each of the sides are straight and all the sides meet at a corner or vertex making a closed shape. This quadrilateral is called a rectangle because the top and bottom have the same length sides that run in the same direction, the same distance apart. The left and right have the same length sides that run in the same direction, the same distance apart. And each of the corners are square corners, meaning I could fit a piece of paper in each of the corners and it would fit. Rectangles are known as two-dimensional or plain shapes because they are flat. They are flat like pieces of paper or envelopes. If you put six rectangles together, you can build a solid shape, also called a three-dimensional shape. These six rectangles can form a box. Look at the front of these boxes. You can see rectangles. These rectangles make up the faces of the boxes. If you have ever been to the grocery store, you may recognize these box shapes. These shapes could be a box of cereal or a box of spaghetti. I know that a shape is a box shape if I can count six rectangles for faces. There should be a top and bottom to my box, a front and back, and two sides. Let's review. We learned about another special quadrilateral called a square. We know that this shape is a quadrilateral because it has four sides. Each of its sides are straight, and all of the sides meet at a corner or vertex making a closed shape. This quadrilateral is called a square because all of the sides are the same length or size, and the top and bottom run in the same direction, the same distance apart, and the left and right sides run in the same direction, the same distance apart. And each of the corners are square corners, meaning I could put a piece of paper or envelope into each of the corners and it would fit. Now that you know what a box shape is and what it looks like, we are going to talk about a very special box shape called a cube. A cube has six faces, just like we learned our boxes had, but instead of rectangles for faces, each face is a square. If we look at the front of this cube, this face is a square. It's hard to tell from this picture, but the top and sides are also squares. To help you understand this better, imagine that you're looking at a number cube or a die. If you could open up your die to look at each of the faces, you would be able to see six squares like this. The front would be square number one, the top would be number two, the bottom number three, the right side would be four, the left side would be square number five, and if we could pull the square from the back, that would make six squares. A cube has six square faces. Let's look at the shapes from the beginning of the lesson. Which one? is the cube. Well, we know that a cube cannot be flat, so we have to get rid of this shape, which is actually a two-dimensional square, a plain shape. The green and blue shapes are both definitely solid shapes because I can see that they have more than one flat shape or face to build it. They both look like boxes. I know that a cube must have six square faces. When we look at these shapes, we can start by looking at the face on the front of each shape. Is this face a square? Or is this face a square? This one is the square. And if I look at all of the faces on this green box, I will notice that all of the faces are squares. So the green shape must be the cube. In this lesson, you learned how to identify cubes by finding solid shapes with six square faces.